Hey guys, so today I'm back with another Halloween video and today we're going to be making this really cool cake and it's going to be like a spider web kind of theme to it and we're going to be using marshmallows to make the spider webs. We're going to take marshmallows and we're going to stretch it out and it's going to be super cool and I'm so excited to make this. Hopefully when this video is uploaded, it'll be uploaded on Halloween, so hopefully I was able to do that. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so just before we start the video, I just want to say something. I am sick right now, but I'm pushing through. I pushed through and I made this cake for you guys. Um, so if my voice sounds weird and you could probably still hear it in my voice, um, if my voice sounds weird, or if you see my PJs showing up on camera, like my PJ sleeves and stuff, that's because I'm sick, so just a little note. So I decided to make a red velvet cake, so the ingredients you'll need for this is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of fine salt, one teaspoon of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of vegetable oil, one cup of buttermilk at room temperature, two large eggs at room temperature, one tablespoon of red food coloring. The recipe I found said to use two tablespoons, but one tablespoon looks like more than enough, so if I need more, I'll add more but right now I'm going to stick to one tablespoon. One teaspoon of white distilled vinegar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now in a large bowl, we're going to sift together our flour, our sugar, baking soda, salt, and cocoa powder. Now you can just take a spatula and just gently mix these ingredients together. Now in another large bowl, we're going to whisk our oil, our buttermilk, our eggs, the food coloring, vinegar, and the vanilla. And we're just going to Whisk that together until they're combined. Now using a stand mixer, we're going to combine our dry ingredients with our wet ingredients and pour in all the wet ingredients. Now just put this on your stand mixer and mix it until it's smooth and combined. Once your batter is done being mixed, it should look like that. And now we're going to pour it into our pans and we're going to stick it in the oven for 15 minutes. And then after those 15 minutes are done, we're going to rotate the cakes and bake them for another 15 minutes. So it'll be 30 minutes total at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. The ingredients you'll need for the buttercream frosting will be two sticks of butter softened, three cups of powdered sugar sifted, two teaspoons of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of milk or heavy cream or half and half so first what you want to do is you want to put your butter into a bowl with a stand mixer with the paddle attachment and we're going to beat this on a medium speed um, until the butter is smooth and it is lightened in color and that will take about three minutes. After you've beat the butter it should look like that and now we're going to add in our powdered sugar but we're going to add it in half a cup at a time and we're going to beat it until each cup has been incorporated after you've mixed in all the sugar 
What you want to do now is you want to be on a very high speed for about 10 seconds just to lighten up the color. Now add in your vanilla and a pinch of salt. And combine that until it's well incorporated. Now just add your milk and mix that in. So I feel like my frosting is too soft so if your frosting is also too soft, you can firm it up by adding one more cup of sugar and you add it a fourth cup at a time, and that's the sifted powdered sugar, uh, and you add it a fourth cup at a time, but if your frosting is too firm and you want it to get softer, you add more milk or cream at a tablespoon at a time. So as you could see, I covered my cake with black frosting. And now I'm going to take some red frosting and we're going to just put some like dots all around the cake. Now I'm just taking my spatula and blending out the red and the black and the more you go over it and the more you just keep turning your cake and keep spreading it out, the more it's just going to blend in with the black and it's going to make this really cool like tie-dye almost kind of effect. So here's my favorite part of making this entire cake. So what I did was I took some mini marshmallows and I put them in a bowl and I just melted them for in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And then you just take them in your hands, stretch out the marshmallow a bit, and then just go around the cake with the stretchy marshmallow and just go wherever your hands take you, be a spider, just cover that cake with marshmallow and it'll look like cobwebs. So here I'm just making the spider's body. Um, I'm using gloves, as you can see, because you can see that I have so much red dye all over the gloves, and I didn't want to get any of that on my hands. So I wore gloves. Don't judge. Okay. Um, so to make the spider's body, basically what I was doing was just forming almost like an egg shape. So it's very like round at the bottom and then I made a tip at the top and I sort of curved the body. I don't know, I wanted to curve the spider's body up a little bit so like the tip, the thin tip part is curved up a little bit. So here I just made a round red ball for his head. So here I'm making the spider's legs, and I made eight of them because spiders have eight legs. So to make the spider's leg, I just took a small piece of red fondant, and I stuck my thumb in the middle there to make a bend in the leg. And yeah, that's really all you gotta do. So now I'm just sticking my finger in some water and I'm putting some water on the tips of the spider legs so that you could glue it to the body. Water acts as an adhesive for fondant. So yeah, just put some water and attach the legs to the body. And now I'm just drawing on some eyes with some black food coloring marker because I was too lazy to make little eyes with some black fondant, so yeah. And I also decided that the spider was too boring, so I added some dots onto his body. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe because I will be posting more baking videos every Tuesday, and comment down below any questions or suggestions for what I could bake in the future. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.